Hello, program. This time we are going to see arrays and methods handled together in the same program. This program is going to show how to print the prime numbers present in an array. So if there is an array, there can be many numbers inside it. Now if you are asked to print all the prime numbers that are present in the array, how will you do the work? Let me show you the output once. Look at the output screen. You will see that these are the array elements and these are the prime numbers present in the array. Now let me show you the program and then I will show you another set of outputs. Okay, now let me come to the program. This is the method. This is a method that is testing whether an element is prime or not. Only task of the method is to verify how if the element is uh, made to be the upper limit of a loop. That means if the, whatever is the number, 100, 500, whatever. To test for prime numbers, the condition was check up to half of the number. If you find any factor between 2 and half of the number, then the number is not a prime number. Remember that a prime number cannot have any factors other than 1 and itself. So we avoid testing 1 and itself. That means for a number, uh, if 1 and itself is avoided, if I leave aside, then what are the range where the factors can be? If you, if you look at any number, then you will see that. Uh, or more than half of the number, there cannot be any factor present. Hence, the factors can be only in the range of 2 and half of it. Right, you have to test with any numbers of your choice. You can check for 100, you can check for 50, you can check for 77, a prime number, odd number, you can check for 29, 39. Right, now, if any factor is found, here, that means if n mod f is equal to 0, then return false means this return will even come out of the loop and stop the method. That means this return will cause the method to stop, the loop to stop and it control will go back to the super. Now super method, let me come to main and show you what is there in main. In main, we have declared an array. See, the array name is xr. And it has got five elements because I have chosen n as five. If you input n, then also it is possible. Then n can be anything when the program is going on. And I have declared the size of the array as such. Now, the array is getting filled with variables. That is, input has been taken. After the array has been filled up, printing of the array. No, here there is this slash f. Do you know what is the job of slash f? Slash F's task is to clear the output screen in this window in Java Blue J version. So if you write slash F, the output screen will get cleared. Hmm. And after that, here we have got the array printed. And then this is the heart of the code. What are the prime numbers? Once again, we run the loop. That means once again, we start seeing from the first element and we send one element at a time to the method. Now, one element at a time is this is a single number. This is an integer, that uh, element in that cell. That is going to the method. Where is the method? The method is, I have written the method on top. So, n is getting called with the first element in the array. And note that this statement is present inside the loop. Inside the loop means this is going to happen again and again. So every time the loop will run, this statement will make uh, the method call. And that method call with the number here will return either true or false. And if a true is found, then print the element because the heading has already been given. Now this head, heading should be present outside the loop because one time you want to give the heading that the prime elements are and again and again you have to check the numbers one by one and whichever number gives the result true, that number is supposed to get printed. Okay, so we uh, run the program now once again for you. 
Yes. Note that the output screen is now showing you the main has been executed and the elements are going to get entered one by one in the respective cell numbers. Please note the way the output statement has been written. Enter value for xr and then this variable is given inside the two brackets. So the output is showing in a style. You like the style? That xr0 element xr1's element xr2's element are getting entered. And finally now I'll enter the element for xr4. If you write this output in this way, it is always convenient to understand. Okay, let's I press enter. After the last element goes in, you see the array elements are getting printed by clearing of the screen and the prime numbers are getting printed. Okay.